to construct the true shape of a given lamina to start with we need to establish the x and y the x and y axis I just produce a very short line the 10 millimeters to give us that required uh, distance at the moment I'm just using construction and some hooking that you guys are able to, to note okay um, then I need to set off the um, front elevation so what I'll do I'll establish here a, a vertical and given that this is the x and y i need to establish here 70 millimeters set off 70 70 and 20 millimeters okay so i will obtain the, i will obtain two points two vertical two, two more two more vertical lines at the moment I'm simply drawing the lines without any worrying about the distance or the length in our words that is so we have three verticals okay so uh, this is point A I need to find point B here and then I need to find point C here okay and we're given that this given that this is the X and Y I know exactly now what would be the length of X and Y I can go ahead and I can darken X and Y. Okay, that is X and Y. So from X and Y, I'm given that from here to 40 millimeters, so I'm using Y axis, X, Y. So from here, I'm given that this is 40 millimeters. okay and then i need another 40 so i have 80 in total so with these two that's 40 and then that is 80 okay so here i can draw now the front elevation which is as follows and then here to the top all right there we have front television um, to get the plan I need 10 millimeters which I have already then from here from the X and Y I need 40 millimeters it should be here and then from the C I need 10 and then I need 50 okay this would become point B so I can draw now the required plan and the plan would look as follows That is the plan V. So now I can set off my points to label accordingly. I have a label below.
it's important to label the points accordingly Okay, so it goes as follows so we see point here is B this is C this is E This is E prime, C prime, and this is B prime. This is Y, and this is X. Okay, X and Y axis. So we need to obtain the true length of each of the three lines one, two, and three. Okay, but we're going to get two from the front and then one from the bottom. So we're going to get BC, we're going to get AC, and then we're going to get uh, AB here. Okay, AB here for the bottom. So we're going to start off first with BC. So I'm projecting this point and this point. I'm going to use the triangulation method these two okay um you're going to use a vertical a common vertical uh, let me use is it here i'll use a common vertical okay. so given that i'm using bc i need to use this dimension below Alright, so we have to set BC to get the true length B prime C prime. Okay, that is the radius, and I'll use this point. And I square. True length of line B. C of length BC. Okay, now I need to project um, AC. I have already projected C, so all I need now is to project um, A. Alright, so given that I'm projecting to the top, I need to use the dimensions from the bottom. So this is AC1. So I set my compass here to this point. Here. I set a file A. Scribe. There. And here I have. So that's AC, C is here, and this is AC. Okay, true length of AC. Then the last thing to do now would be, uh, given that we don't have space here and here, then we need to project here to the bottom. So we'll project AB, I'll extend B first. And I want A. Okay, so I'm looking for A here. Alright, so I'm using common A KL line. And I want to use my compass once again. I want I will use A B, which is A here to B. So that's the distance I will use.
Okay, A, B. And this is what I set here. A nice spray. So this is true length of B, C, true length of A, C, and true length of A, B, right? So I need to write those accordingly. Five, five, five. So as not to get confused. We need to write that information. And as in the previous video, I would write TL or this one I write off BC. Here I would write TL of AC and here TL of AB right TL of AB which means true length of BC, true length of AC and true length of AB at the end I uh, will slightly, I will erase this. Okay. When I finish to obtain the true shape, when I finish to obtain the true shape of the figure, I now need to use this space that I have, the space that I have and use these dimensions. So I will start off with a base. I will use this area. just draw a line any any length at the moment that will be the baseline here I will start off to construct the true shape of the lamina so I need to start off with the base which is a B set your compass to this given radius okay once you have that then you can decide where you want to start I'll set here let's set it here and spiral okay so this is a b now i need let me label so i won't get uh, mistaken i'll extend this five m just for argument's sake okay then i need now to use the other dimensions that i have been provided with so i need ac now and then bc so let me set ac okay, i'm setting ac all right i'm not measuring at the moment all i'm using is this ac and i know that this is point a sorry i mistake this is a and this is b So I use this given dimension and I set at A and I scribe here to the open. Doesn't matter if it interferes with that at the moment because we are not interested in uh, these. Okay, there we go. Then I need the last and uh, well, not least BC, which is this distance. So we set our compass to that radius BC, then I want to set that B to scribe and intersect the first I did here. Okay, and here we can see, uh, let me write that 5 millimeter here. So this is C. 
see. So the true length, sorry, the true shape of the lamina is as follows. Going to this point. Then you join to B. And last but not least, AB. Okay. And at the bottom, let me use this PSB one. I will write true shape TS of lamina. Okay. So that is the true shape of lamina, guys. Thank you for following.